Hello Internet, welcome back to Let's Make a Fractal Shader. Uh, so it's been a while since we've done this. Uh, so what I wanted to do is, first off, apologies for missing Thursdays and Fridays video last week. I got super busy with just life stuff. And so I didn't have it, I ran out of videos and didn't have the time to record any new ones. So there weren't any videos. Um, so hopefully, I'm hoping to make that back up uh, over the rest of this month. So there will be a few extra videos dropping sometime in December, hopefully this weekend. Uh, so I'm hoping to get those cleaned up soon. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is was talking with uh, who's that guy. Uh, so who's that guy was saying that we should use some sort of map to map our publisher, which is this thing, to our material animator. So what happens is if we have two of these, You'll notice it only uses one, and there's no way to attach like multiple material animators or anything like that. It it doesn't work, I, and part of that is just because we're publishing a message, but we're not all subscribing to the right thing. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a few things. So there we can either create like a list, uh, as he was suggesting, and kind of combine all that, or we can have some extra parameter and kind of use that to decide on it. But this is where we're at right now. We've got a, uh, I believe this is the uh, Julian set, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the Julia set. And we are using a sign publisher to publish to our X seed. And that gets us this. The issue is we have two publishers and only the second one is being used. So, to fix that, we need to go into our material animator, which is this really gross, fun thing. And then what we want to do is actually have a way to tell it what we're subscribing to. Uh, so, the there's eh, I, I'm still unsure of how I want to do this, so we're just kind of winging it. Uh, but the idea is we have a signed publisher. And so what we can do is we can give this a list of things that it would publish to. And that's probably the easiest solution is to just say, call these material animators. Uh, but there's also a few other things that we want that we could want to do. Uh, we could want to just have both of them have like strings or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just start off by having this sign publisher actually let's have the material animators subscribe to things. I think that makes the most sense. So they will subscribe to specific animators, which will be those uh, publishers. So we have a public uh, list. We're gonna do just an array, I think, of our publisher. And I don't think, yeah. So this sign publisher, this is the only one we have. We only made one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create an interface for this. Uh, call it the iPublisher. And this is going to inherit this other fun thing. Uh, yeah, we'll save all of that. And so this is going to do be an I a mono behavior and an iPublisher. And so what this is going to do is instead of this update, we are going to, uh, how do I want to do that actually? So this iPublisher, we want it to give off some resultant value. We want it to send this message, but only to things that have subscribed to it. So I think we can't actually do that. We're going to need a publisher. So we're not using an interface anymore. Sorry about that. We're going to use a publisher. And so the publisher is going to be consumed by a number of things. So we need to change this and name, rename it a publisher. Like so. And then if I can get here. So the sign publisher is going to do publisher things or not, why can't it find it? That's weird, okay, I'm gonna ignore that because I'm pretty sure that's wrong. 
or not. What the heck? I broke everything. Hold on. So we're getting an unexpected symbol void in our thing. Well, that's why. Okay. So that's why everything's wrong. Uh, so actually, with this method, we do not need any attachment. Our material animator is not going to need any changes. It's just going to work as it is. But our publisher is going to have a public list of material animators that it's subscribed to. And we'll just call them animators. And this is going to want a publish change method. And so how this is going to work is our publish change is going to publish a change to every animator. And so what we can do with that is we're going to want a public void of publish change. And this is very angry. So we'll give it a, no, we don't even need to give it anything. That should be perfectly all right. And there we go. There. So now what we want is for each uh, animator in our animators, we want to do something. And what we want to do is actually take a action on our, ah, uh, shoot, what is, what is it going to do? It is going to perform an action on a material animator. I think this makes sense. May, it may not. Uh, so what, are, what is it? Blah. What does the material animator take? Uh, it takes a value. So let's give it a value. That's not what I wanted. Let's give it a value of a float. And we'll do animation. And so what this is going to do is actually we probably didn't need to do this. No, I'm making this way too complicated. It just takes a float so we can actually do this the easy way. None of that was required. I was going to um, I was going to use an action and have it automatically derive it that way. So you could just publish a change of an action and it would just do it uh, and run it for each thing. But that's actually going to be slower and we don't need to do it. So I'm, I'm not going to do it. But that's that's an option if you want to be ambitious, I guess. Or if you just want to fool around with functional stuff. So all this is going to do is take our, this isn't right at all. All this is going to do is take our animator and send a notification that it has updated. And I don't know why IntelliSense is being weird, but that's whatever. So all we do is update the material here instead of in here. So for this, we just publish. IntelliSense is being poor. Publish change of this new value. Like so. I have no idea why this is being the way it is. It is quite annoying. Mate, did that fix it? No. Okay. I, I don't know what Visual Studio thinks it's doing, but whatever it thinks it's doing, it's thinking wrong. So this is going to publish our change, ignore these errors, to our animator, or to our publisher. And then our publisher is going to say, what are the animators that I should publish to? And then it's going to publish to all of these. So using that, we should be able to take our material animator and attach another one. And what I want to do is I want to have it pan to the left and up and down at the same time. Which makes me think that this is wrong because our material is incorrect, but okay. 
There we go. We'll animate our... Oh, that's what's happening. I had the Mandelbrot set, Material, but it's assigned to use the Julia set, Fractal Shader. I, 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 why did I do that? <laughs> okay, we're going to switch this back to Mandelbrot set, because why not? And then we are going to publish from here to our, this one, and this sign publisher is going to publish to here. Now, had, there's some issues with this. Uh, first off, it makes it really hard when you start getting a lot of them because you have to hook everything up and there's no names or anything that you can subscribe to. So I think, um, I think the best way is actually the suggestion was to use a list. Just have a list of names and publish to those names and then from those names route them to whatever is subscribed to them. So kind of stick up a middleman that you're sending everything into and then branching out and going where it needs to. So instead of directing things here in these animators, we just give it a name and send it somewhere and then based on that name it would end up somewhere else. I think that's a better solution and we'll get to that in the next video. Uh, mostly because I did this solution because it, it was easier. Eh. So what we should see with this is we should see it go up and down. I'm going to actually zoom it out just a tiny bit so we can actually see it do its thing. But we should see it go up and to the left. Might be e not very much easier at all. So as you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but it is going sideways, which means we're publishing our pan X and our pan Y, which means that our change is working and we can actually do send multiple animations now, which is what we wanted. Cool thing is also we can change this however we want. So if I want to do seed X, now that panning is going to just stop. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit. But now we have our seed changing, which isn't going to change anything for this shader. But if I break this again and switch it back to our Julia shader, we get all kinds of cool stuff, which is pretty cool. It's also moving, which is also kind of interesting. So if I change both of the seeds now and move it back to the center, something will happen. I don't honestly have any idea. Well, that's actually really sweet. I like that. And suddenly we get a circle and then. So there's that we're getting multiple publishers sending it out to different things. Uh, this is a simple solution, I guess, <laughs> but it, it works and it gets, it gets us to where we need to be. Uh, it's probably the easiest way to solve this problem. Uh, there's better ways. Uh, we'll look into those in the future. But for now, this is simple. And I guess that's what counts. So until next time, hope to see you guys in the next video. And what am I talking about again? Yeah, that worked well. Anyway, see you guys.